Welcome guys, welcome back. As you can see, I'm not where I left off the last episode. I did some offline work, pretty much. Not a whole lot, don't worry, but I'll show you. Our Shinx is now level 8, and it knows Tackle and Leer. Our Piplup is now level 12. Magikarp is level 7. Still can't do a whole lot. <laughs> Starly is still level 4, because I'm just having it on the team so I can switch it out eventually. And this Starly is level 8. Um, yeah. So I'd say I will switch Piplup to the front. Because next up, what we're doing is we'll face our rival. Because in this direction, we'll go to Orbor City. Or Orbo City, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. <laughs> and once we go over here, he will challenge us to a battle. But first, talk to this dude. Hello, yes, you. You with that cool scarf. You should have seen the boy that came running by earlier. That's probably Harald. He ran past me so quickly I couldn't even manage a hello. Oh, yeah, that's foreshadowing that he's going to come. Let's just see if there's a hidden item down here. Nope. So... <gasps> there he is. Can I... Nope, I can't skip. Hey Josh, tell me you got a little tougher. Me? Do you even need to ask? Of course I got tougher. Come on, let's battle it out. Alright, bro. Not even a hello. <laughs> He's like, dude, you're here? Let's just fight. Alright, Harald. He has a Starly. Great. Level 7 Starly. It probably knows quick attack then. So it'll attack before my Piplup can. But that's fine. I'll just use Bubble, because Bubble is not a attack move, but a special attack. And if it uses Growl on me, then... It is not very effective. Ha, there we go. So let's just continue hitting it with that bubble. Forget it, this isn't over yet. Well, of course it's not. He's probably using a potion on it, so. Okay. Ah, dang it. My Pokemon's HP is low. This could be a bit tight. Yeah, now he uses a potion, and I have to attack again. Oh, he's not. Interesting. But he'll probably use one on his... Oh, what is this Pokemon called? I forget the English names, guys. I'm sorry. 84 XP. Nice. Turtwig, right. Will I change it? Um, it's probably a bit stronger than his... Uh, Starly. You know what? I'll switch it. I'll put my Magikarp in so it'll get some XP. Alright, Turd Rake, you're cute. And now switch it to. I'll switch it to my level 8 Starly. I can do this. Oh. Okay, let's see how much damage that does. Oh, a fair amount. Okay. Another quick attack. Two more attacks and it should be down, unless Harald uses a potion on it. Which I'm not sure if he'll do. But he probably will. Yes! Oh, great. That went very well. Okay. Ooh, that's a lot of XP. What's going on here? What? I lost $900. Let's go. What? What do you mean I lost? Well, that's it. That's the last time I'll ever lose. That's he's, he's saying that now, 
and he'll challenge me more often, but I'll totally crush him. <laughs> I'm going to be the world's toughest trainer, and you know it. The first thing to do is take on the Orbor City Pokemon Gym. Yep, I'm going to toughen up for that, totally. Alright, take care, bro. I'm just going back real quick, healing my Pokemon, and then we're off to Orbor City. Okay, she's probably a trainer. Up there is a trainer. Um, let's just oh, yeah, let's just talk to her. Did you know the first Pokemon to appear in a battle is the one on at the top left of your team list? Oh, okay, she's not a trainer, but that is kind of helpful. So there's a trainer here. Oh, oh, okay. I want that item down there. I don't know what it is, but um, yeah, I'm just running through here real quick. Oh, great. Nice. Um, let's train our shanks a little bit more. And let's fight this dude. He has two. What does he have? A bead of... Ugh. I did not miss that Pokemon. Great. Will that be enough for... Yes. Learn Charge. What does Charge do again? Um, he's sending out a Zubat, so I'll send out my Starly. And here we go. Another critical hit. Also enough for level 9. Nice. Ooh, wing attack. Perfect. That's, that's perfect against Turtwig, because it's a um, wind-type move. Nice. So let's check out what charge does, because I don't remember. I know it's electric type. But the user boosts the power of the electric move it uses next. It also raises the user's special defense stat. Uh, well, not very helpful. Okay. So... In order to get this item, I'll have to go over there, okay. Ah, you know what, screw it. Let's just fight this dude. He only has one Pokemon. Great. A Krakatot. Huh. Oh, freak. What just happened? Well, send in Starly, I guess. What the crap? What? <sighs> Whatever. Man. Now I want to run back to heal my Shink so I can continue leveling it. Okay, back at it again. What? <laughs> oh, my shanks. Level four. Nice. So, oh, I forgot. This trainer got me every single time when I replayed this game. Dang it. <laughs> Because I could have just walked up the stairs on the left or right, and I would have totally, um, she would have totally missed me, but well. Oh, crud. Well, she has a Bidoof. How good can that be? Famous last words. <laughs> Uh, 
you will send a Starly, and I will send... Oh, well, you know, I'll just continue with Shinx, so it can reach level 10. No, it's only level 4, so it's whatever. She has more Pokemon than an average trainer, but they are not very strong. Okay, that should be enough for level 10, right? Sweet. She's gonna send a boo, um, Budu or whatever, Budu. I, f I forget how to say it. So let's send out Starly and use my new wing attack move on it. Oh, baby. Super effective and critical hit. That's what I like to see. And also level 10. Great. Now I only have to get my Magikarp that high. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's start doing that. Let's get my Magikarp. And get that leveled up. There's a trainer. He's only looking up and down, question mark? Yes, he is. There's a trainer as well. I would rather have my Magikarp fight wild Pokemon than a trainer. So let's go over here. We'll definitely encounter a wild Pokemon. What? <laughs> okay. A repel. That one isn't too bad. With a repel, when I use it, Pokemon that are under the level of my Pokemon that is on very first place, like in the very first position, won't appear. I totally butchered the explanation, but whatever. <laughs> um. Let's use Shinx. And we got him. Ah! Played myself! <laughs> now we did. What? Ah, oh, come on. Uh. Okay, here we go. So, I don't know if I want to fight these people yet. Well, you know, whatever. I'll just do it. Let's use, uh, actually people up. So, I want to have it to learn a better water type move. Because next up the gym is rock type, I think. Water is pretty good against that. So let's see here. Boom. First one down. One more to go. Nice. And another 61 points. Only 80 bucks? Oh, whatever. So... Let's fight this dude.
Ooh. Nice. Thanks. Listen, listen, do you have a Pokemon called Matchup? Would you be willing to trade your Matchup for my Abra? I don't have one, and I don't want an Abra, so no, I'm sorry. But she'll be waiting here. To... The view is good from up here, but it's a pain going out. If you don't mind, how about showing me a Pokemon called Zubat? Now I have to catch a Zubat to show this dude? Oh gosh, okay, I'll do that. Bro, thanks. You know how Pokemon stay inside their Pokeballs? I tried to think about what would be the best Pokeball for them. Interesting. Well, I'm gonna leave this episode here. Next up, down there where I'm facing, is the Ouroboros Mine. We'll go in there next time. We'll hopefully catch a Zubat and show that one dude. And... Then we will, uh, yeah, find the the gym leader, <laughs> and then we'll get our first gym badge. I'm very excited for it. So, till then, stay tuned. I hope you like the series. I certainly enjoyed a lot. So, yeah, take care, guys, and have a great day. Bye.